All right, Virtual On Cyber Troopers Netlink Edition. If you are looking for this ROM all over the internet and you can't find it, just go into the link in the description and there are patched, uh, patched image files. Uh, I have a patched game in the uh, Saturn right now. I burned it to a disk and boom, it works. I am using the, uh, well, I soldered the Phantom Mod chip into my Saturn, so I don't need to do the swap trick anymore. And uh, if you do use a swap trick, you can play online on the Netlink, no problems whatsoever. So just letting you guys know that that's an option. But the one thing that you can't do when you use a swap trick is use the chat function. You cannot chat. After every game, you, you each player gets to decide if they want to do a rematch. And if you both press no, then usually it lets you... Um, Let's you go to the chat, and then you could you know instant message each other. Check out the uh, Daytona, the end of my Daytona video, and you'll see the chat uh, function in action. But uh, yeah, I mean that's pretty much the only reason why I got my mod chip because I was doing the swap trick for the longest time. I just I really wanted to use the the, the chat function, so uh, that's why I got the um, the mod chip. And according to Myth. I mean, it's not myth. It's it's fact. If you do use the pseudo Saturn cartridge, technically you can still get the Netlink to work, but you gotta like swap it, and you gotta like time it right. Uh, we got an error. Hmm. But yeah, you don't really. I mean, you can do that, but like, I really don't recommend it. The the pins in the Sega Saturn cartridge slot are notorious for being shit and um, I kind of just leave my Saturn cartridge uh, netlink in there and I never take it out I don't mess with it at all okay we're gonna try again I would try the slideshow but we're just gonna we're not doing that right now Okay, answering phone. It's always cool that you can like hear, I mean you can't hear it because the mic is kind of far from my cartridge, but I can hear the, I can hear like ticks on this thing sometimes. Oh my god. My Saturn is very, very warm right now. Not so hot, warm that it's hot, but it's, it's, pretty, it's almost hot. Like right here too. Like this side is fine. I guess this is kind of like where the uh, power is on this side of the console. And I know that because I took it apart to put in the mod chip. And uh, I'm really curious. Uh, I'm just going to throw this out there. If there's anybody out there that played the Sega Saturn Netlink online back in the day, back in the late 90s, please write a comment and just, I don't know, say a couple of cool things about it. Because I'm really curious to find people out there that did this. And if you really want to, I mean, this is just, you don't have to. I'm very happy with just a comment. But maybe we can, like, do a voice chat together and, or, or a video chat. And I would just love to talk to you about it. Like, I'm very curious about, about, about this kind of stuff. All right. I'll be the girl. Okay, so right off the bat, we're... There's no lag in the menu. Uh, we tried to connect like right before this video, and we were having some problems, and we just had to adjust some settings. And, yeah. It turns out we didn't have the same jitter levels. Like he was at low, and I was at medium. So jitter level, man. Jitter level. It matters. And if you can see in the top left, it says stick. I'm next to one player. That's because my opponent is actually using the twin stick peripheral. It says I'm using Type A. I that's just some configuration with the controller. But yeah, the person I'm versing is using Twin Stick. He's he's OG. He's for reals. He uh, told me that he got his Twin Sticks new in box for a hundred dollars, and as far as I'm concerned, it's a very good deal because I think I remember checking out like Twin Stick prices like a month ago, and they all they range between ninety and a hundred dollars for used. So, I mean, hell, 100 bucks new in box, it's a pretty good deal. 
This game looks so pretty. I mean, look, just look at this. Okay, I just want to say right off the bat, like immediately, like you guys need to be aware that uh, I'm not good at this game. So, uh, I just want you to know that, like, I'm not good. I'm still, yeah, look at that, I'm standing in one spot. And as far as, I, from what I remember, this is a game where you definitely don't want to stay in one spot. You gotta be moving around all the time. And, uh, I'm, there I go again, standing in one spot. Oh my god. I gotta not do horrible. This would be a very boring video to watch. Yeah, we played. I played like a month ago, and I was a little bit better because I was actually playing single player. And we also played for like a good like 45 minutes, I feel like. So, but that was a month ago, and I haven't played since. So I okay. So A doesn't do anything. Okay, the bottom buttons don't do anything. Oh wow! Oh what the fuck? Look how much damage I did in one hit. There I go. So, as far as I'm concerned, the only way to lock onto your opponent is by jumping, I think. I don't know. But uh, this is still a really good game. Uh, I mean, besides the fact that it looks really cool and it's got those classic 90s, you know, Sega sound effects. I mean, this is an online game, man. Like it's a it's a fighting game. I mean, it's not like Mortal Kombat or Street yeah, Fighter, but it's definitely a, a fighting game. Got him. Got him. Doing better than last round. Ooh, that was not good. What am I doing? Oh. I feel like that was actually like a good thing, what I just did. Even though I kind of missed. There we go. All right, we're almost. We're basically tied right now. How do I do my my bullets? It seems like I can only. I'm only doing one one the hard mode. I want to do that. Oh my god! Oh my god! That was so lucky. That was really lucky. Okay, so that attack is really. It makes you stay in one spot, but it seems like it's strong and it, it has like a homing feature to it. I don't really have to aim with it. Round three. Maybe I should try pressing the R and L buttons. Get ready. But yeah, there's like virtually no lag here at all. So, that's always a good thing. How do I do that? Be what he's doing. Those bullets. I, I, I can only do like this one uh, strong attack. Oh. Oh wow, I can dash. I really don't know how to do that. And I'm, I think I'm done trying. I cannot. Let's just do this big attack here. There we go. 
Oh. Come on, do another one. Do another one. I'm aiming the wrong way. And that was that would be good. Ooh, that was a close game. Ah. I don't know if he has time for one more or if he Oh, it doesn't say what your opponent picked. Usually in these games, it lets you know. Oh, he canceled it. Okay. So I wonder if it's going to bring us to the chat function or if it's just going to start the game. Uh, it's going to bring me back to the X-Band menu. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I kind of want to chat. All right. And this is what's cool about it, that you don't have to send anything. You just got to... You just got to... Um... Oh, was it? Seemed pretty good for me. I mean, you are watching that video. It looked pretty good. I always kind of assumed that uh, with these old systems, like I know in Dreamcast especially, I know in Dreamcast when you like connect with one player, like usually if one person's lagging, like you're all lagging on Dreamcast. I don't know how it how it is on Saturn. All right, that's it. That's virtual on. So yeah, I'll play again with uh, Sega RPG Fan or PC Wizard if you want to play it in one sometime or Zaiden or anybody honestly anybody write a comment like I, I put I'll put my Discord name in the description like just hit me up on Discord I'm always down to play Saturn I will literally play any game I have all the games as you should too because they're all free on Saturn.DreamPipe.net and I'm just always down even if you live in like France or England or somewhere where like you're just so far away that we're just probably going to lag. Let's just do it anyway. Let's just try it anyway. There is a game called Gundam FF Federation whatever on Dreamcast that just got revived recently. And there's you can play online with it now. And uh, I saw some gameplay footage of it. And it seems like it's virtual on to me. But just, you know, better graphics and it's probably just better overall. You know, it's the Dreamcast. But, uh, you know, I burned a copy of it, but I just haven't played it yet, and I'll play it eventually, you know, but uh, I'm just not, like, I don't know. It's not that I don't like this kind of game, but it's the kind of game that I don't, I don't, I wouldn't play it, if I was, like, completely alone, like, just play, I, I wouldn't really, it's not my style of game, I guess you could say. It's cool to play online, like, I'm on the Sega Saturn, so it's just the novelty of it, that's what I like about Virtual On. I'm aware that this game was a big thing in the arcades back in the day. And it was just like a big competitive uh, thing. It was like a cultural phenomenon, I guess you could say. So I know there's a lot of nostalgia for this game. And I mean, if you are a big fan of Virtual On or Gundam, like you're going to just love this game. I mean, you, you're going to appreciate just how primitive it is. And I just really recommend... Because like I said, I mean, you saw the video. It really wasn't that laggy for me. It might have been a little bit more laggy for a Sega RPG fan. We'll see. I mean, he'll check out my video and uh, he'll let me know if uh, it looked better on mine than it did on his. Maybe he was lagging pretty bad. Who knows? So that's it for Virtual On. And I think at this point, I've uploaded a video of all five of the American Netlink games. 
Uh, I did upload a video on Bomberman, but it's not listed. But if you really want to watch it, you can just go to my playlist, my Sega Saturn playlist, and you can watch it there. It's it's like only visible if you check the playlist. But if you search for it, like in the YouTube search bar, you're not going to find it. And if you watch the video, you'll understand why I keep it unlisted. It's because I think like the first like seven minutes were just laggy. But then we fixed it, and then the rest of it, the video is totally fine. But uh, yeah, it's there if you want to check it out. So yeah, I mean, I'm still going to play more Saturn, and it's not like I'm just going to make one video of each game and I'm done. Like, I definitely want to play more Sega Rally. I definitely want to play more Duke Nukem. And uh, I think other games I really like playing would be like Puyo Puyo. And that Shadows of the Tusk game, that Japanese one, I still got to learn more about it, but that seems pretty interesting to me. So yeah, that's it. Virtual on. Peace out, guys.